and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI, Episode 5. I don't actually check this thing. Easy prey. Wait a second, doesn't that mean I don't get XP anymore? I seem to remember hearing that. Was he even attacking you? Oh, that. Whack it. Heavy swing. Okay. Wing crystal uh, and a beast man seal. Okay, I can all. Uh, wow, this is like Xenoblade Chronicles. Fight then. Now it works. Oh, is it so red? <coughs> Did that consume anything? Oh, it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, we finally use a uh, we used heavy swing and thirty five points of damage. Okay, I can only choose one, huh? Anyways. Back to Windows we go. Not try. The crystal resonating deep within your soul. Excuse me. Oh, is this my soul? Oh, Matt, Miss, can you please tell me what's going on? Is this the crystal? Vanadil, in the year 898. I must make haste for raising Jaman, find the master before. Absolutely of Vanadil, Final Fantasy 11 Online. Is that the first DLC? God damn, how nice it would have been to actually play stuff back in the day, huh? <coughs> I could have gotten a party hat. Ah, uh, so little. Oh, somebody went and learned a new weapon skill, didn't he? Very good. I can see by the twinkle in the eye that you already used it on some poor unfortunate creature, but I'll explain just a bit more. Free tactical points, CP between 1,000 more, selecting abilities and the weapon skill. Many will display a list of usable weapon skills. These are deadly techniques capable of rendering massive damage on enemies. It's not worth an adventurous time to learn to master them. By the way, were you fortunate enough to receive some items from the losses you fought? If you're lucky enough to come across any beastman seals, make sure you hang on to them. They may pay dividends later on. Some reminds me there's another lesson better to learn sooner than later. 
I am you will no doubt come across known as crystals such as earth crystals and fire crystals are extremely significant. Two of versatile items that can be used for a number of purposes include trading them to gods to certain rewards or selling them to earn money, just to name a few. I'd like to explain more about another of the uses, namely the role they play in synthesis. First things first, your reward for completing your last assignment. You are then a bird egg, a pot of honey, and last but not least, a water crystal. Using a water crystal will bring up senses in space. So it's like the bird egg and pot of honey is agreeing to be added. The remains to select OK option synthesis will commence. Find that crafting process will never begin. When you to you've selected not form a viable synthesis recipe. So even when your materials are correct, there's always a chance that your synthesis will fail, so please be wary. Trade items you create to create synthesis, well as most of those drop by enemies you defeat can be placed in the auction house for sale. The Gen House is an ultra consumer venue where you can attempt to purchase the wares of other players by placing bids, as well as having other players' bid items you put up for sale. Words alone can do no justice to the vast cornucopia of goods that is the auction house. One simply must see with one's own eyes. And that's quite a lot of cover. Are you with me so far? Sure am. That brings us to your next assignment Synthesis. When the creative city laser nation's house, auction house, take it out and report back to me when you found it. You need to worry about going through with a natural purchase. Simply examining any of the auction counters will be more than suffice. Bread egg, pot of honey, water crystal. Synthesis. Uh, water energy. With. You then use this seal as a checkpoint pass. It is used by pressing its surface with a piece of clay. Very renowned for its flavor. Hey, bees make the sweet honey from flower nectar. By the power of the crystals. Good skill raises 21 points. Mug of honeyed egg. Honeyed egg an incredibly simple beverage made by mixing rye egg with honey. Oh cool, you will... Perfect! Sixty gil. That actually costs money. Weaver's Guild, that's not what I want. Uh-oh. <sighs> I am not very particularly happy with myself right now. I think I actually just spilled 60... Is that a miniature table? I don't know, I was like, wait, is that like a park bench table? And I'm back and it sort of is. I'm going the right way. Yes, and <coughs> it was just an overpass over it. Got some guts to come to me at uh, auction house. I'm the one who's in charge here. Yeah, any trouble here, come see me. And it's awarded by the free trial version. We can deliver good to your residents or to the residents of your friends. Oh. What's the point then? Hmm. 
You know what? I will take this as a blessing and an excuse to stop. And I will, next time you see me, assuming this game doesn't get cancelled, I will purchase the actual version of this game so I can actually continue with this quest, because otherwise, uh... Oh wait, did that work? Wait, never mind. That might have worked. Yeah, I think about it, I did technically just interact with the counter, didn't I? Uh, I just came from there, so it's not exactly going to tell me that I... It will exactly tell me that I'm going the wrong way. You should just go straight. To be able to look at that, you know, it's pretty hard to miss, isn't it? What do you think? Is it is as I said, yes, few organizations in this world exceed the auction house in scale. And there seems to be a use to actual adventures, it would be wise to become adept at using it. Now down to brass tax. Let's see if we can get you uh, to up some levels. Several items in existence, which serve to enhance the number of experience points you receive for defeating enemies. For example, there are chariot bands, empress bands, and emperor bands, just to name a few. A bit unique in that you must wait a certain amount of time to equip them before you may use them. It's also pretty determined amount of times usually quite long. You must pass before these items can be used again. Some of the times you may use any single item, it's also limited, so be mindful of that as well. These items can be obtained from the same guards that provide you with signet. You can only exchange conquest points in order to acquire them. Matter of fact, just finishing the last equipment, I'm going to give you this conquest promotion voucher. So you'll be able to obtain a cherry pen without having to use any of your conquest points. That brings us to your next assignment. Head over to any girl then have a go at exchanging them for something. After that, see if you can't make it all the way up to level 4. Here, waiting for you when you get back. Experience bonus to place, it should take back like in no time at all. I mean, careful, it can get quite hairy out there. Aren't I already like level 3 or something? Um, status? I'm level 3, yep. I'm one of the guys, okay. Hit tab on them and then trade. What is this EX? Um, let's find out. Well, I hit like shift and then tried shifting it. Okay, fine. Six Christmas morning, you like precious items. Cherry Band. To do a special mission, you can purchase a recharge of Cherry Band once on. Once until the conquest results tally is performed. My goodness. <coughs> you can now purchase an item if some items are in possession. Plus, the value charge of cherry band by training 20 of your nation's guards, including apples guards, one charge require cherry points. During the time of the Great War, it was possible to have this item recharged in a fairly notes. From my understanding, it has recently become commonplace in the Near East, though you'll be needing Imperial standing credits if you wish to use the service there. Sure, you want to purchase the cherry band? Yes, please. Have I? It actually showed up. 
Yes, and I did not activate the crystal at the... <coughs> Come on, Chanel, because I'm a fool. Da, 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 da. I would I'm I'm not gonna assume you match Items. It is not how you use conquest. Or oh, chariot, I mean. Items. Chariot band. Use it. Apparently not. Uh, equipment. That is apparently in the ring. Damn you. What are you- a TP is up there, I see now. What is this thing? So, did I break it, or what? I mean, I am a mage after all, right? Come on, die you. Break it. Break it. I think we need level four. Oh wait, it does a subnautica thing. It's like you can move away. Is that is that a saw blade? No, that's a book. <coughs> Close enough. If you get sliced in half by a book, trust me, I'm sure it's an unpleasant sensation. Okay, and I can see that I have the XP thing now. Well, uh, well, we might make an adventure like you just yet, so we almost washed all the green off of you. Bit of bad news now, though. Starting from level 39, the mirror knocked and can chase your experience points will suffer deduction. Really, the map penalties will be about 10% of the total amount required to reach the next level. Be more careful than ever from here on out. Well, there are there ways to minimize this level of experience points? Don't die this for like this, for example. Take a reward for reaching level 4. It's called a raising earring. And this will grant your status known as re-raise. You are rendering conscious will the effect is in place, you will have the option to revive yourself. Tutor so will cause you to be resurrected in the very spot where you've fallen. Soon as I say previously, the amount of experience points you lose will be somewhat lessened. Raising earrings and similar items work in the same manner as chair pans. Experience bonus items I mentioned earlier, that is, once equipped, you must wait a certain period of time before they can be used. Both cooldown timers and limited charges as well. Items as a whole are collectively referred to as enchanted items. So the vast array of other enchanted items, myriad other effects, that uh, will prove useful in your ventures. It's a time and effort to better acquaint yourself with them at some point. That brings us to your next assignment. It seems you're starting to get the hang of things. Next, I'd like you to go and fight some enemies in the Tarangi Canyon. The canyon's looking to be on the northeast reaches of East Sour to Barretta. You should drink out some new monsters there that you won't find prowling around the outskirts of the city. You'll be building, so I'll only require that you save one such beast and then head one back. Ryan, the farthest straight from the city, the most ferocious monsters tend to be. Don't say I didn't warn you. Make sure you use the check command to determine the swinging enemies. If you find they are surrounded by enemies, it's difficult for you to try heading back to a previous area close to Sydney, leveling up a bit more first. I'll just keep that in my inventory. Not at 
Do I have a map? Um, all the way, huh? You know what your little map down there actually had like a little imprint of an actual map in there? <coughs> Instead of just being a compass? I mean, I'm grateful that there's a compass at the right. Is that the bumblebee nest up there? Probably. Hello. Alright. Yeah, it'd be, uh... Alright. Never mind. No. We're not doing this. That's nice. And he just stands here. That's really what makes me angry. Well, it's either just like standing there or like just killing me and then running back to its place. Cool. There are crystal over here, they're flipping better be. There is, but it's not where I'd necessarily like it to be. Okay, so go kill the initiate. <coughs> the initiate is initially an asshole. No, not you. Not. Ah, there we go. Are you fucking kidding me? And here I thought I was rid of this crap. Look at that. Oh, cool. I have 60 gil. But anyways, on that note of disgust and failure, it's gonna be it for this episode, though, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!